and welcome back to my island, Hoppington. Today we have Lily here. Look at her. She's so sweet. We've got little sweet Lily. And today I thought to myself, do you know what? We're not going to do the other free Lily pads today. I'm going to take a break from that. I don't want to just do that bit and it be done. So we're going to be doing it. Wow, we're going to be doing here today, the right side, next to Lily's house and next to my entrance. So yeah, anyway, let's get on into today's build. So like I said, for today's build, we're going to be building here. So I need to start clearing some of these apple trees out of the way. And I think we might put Nook's Cranny here or Able Sisters. So it's going to be one of those. It's going to be one of the buildings. Uh, I don't know which one yet. I kind of don't decide when I start recording. <laughs> I, I don't. I decide when I'm recording. Right, first things first, we need to get rid of these trees also i do need to go and figure out where i put my storage shed i'm gonna guess that it's over by the lily pads i by the way you can see the progress i haven't already built them in case you're like oh wait have you already built them no but i have put the houses there i need to scan out some of the villagers so i need to get rid of roswell i need to get rid of him and we got a lot to do and i just didn't feel like scanning three more villages in today so i'm not going to so yeah i thought we'd do a nice easy casual build today we're gonna take all this with us because we're gonna need it and then back we go i'm just gonna put it all on the beach i think that's the easiest option now in case any of you were wondering i always carry around well i say always most of the time i always have my diy table i have my storage shed i have a pipe which leads to my flowers and bushes over the back of my island and sometimes I have a garbage can because you never know when you've got some trash you just need to get rid of. So I did the thing again where I stopped recording and then forgot to press record again. So I cleared all the trees and I put down a road. You didn't really miss much. Most of it was me umming and ahhing of what I was going to stick here. So let me just go back through it. I'm going to probably do a little park here and then we're going to stick a villager house here. I'm thinking I'm going to stick my house here actually. My house, not a villager house I just remembered. I think I might stick Nook's Cranny over here somewhere and that's what we're gonna do i think we might leave my house for now i think i just want to work on nook's cranny today I, I was talking about a load of stuff as well and i've completely forgot what i was talking about oh i did ask everybody who's your favorite sanrio villager so out of the six villagers that we got so rilla twal toby all those good ones who Who's your favorite? Let me know. Now I'm gonna actually get the Nook's Cranny. Okay, let's try not to mess anything up right now. So like I said, I want Nook's Cranny to go here, but I kind of want to make this look really cute little corner because all those words went well together. I want to make a cute corner here. So maybe we should work on that first. I think a cedar tree is needed there i whoa we just kind of warped <laughs> we kind of warped through the tree imagine if we got stuck i would have been so confused i'm hoping this will look nice this is spring core now a lot of spring core is always normally very natural and i want to add town core elements to this now if i don't like this i will be picking it up regardless of what anyone else thinks <laughs> i'm gonna be doing it let's see if we can make this look somewhat something so i'm gonna put these along the edge like this i I don't know how wide I want to go yet so we're just going to leave it by four. I could use the steps I guess. I don't know. We might do. We might use the steps. First of all I want to put all this in. Now I'm super worried actually that that's going to block that so that is the case. Just move everything over by one. Just move it all over. It's not a problem. We got plenty of space for Nook's Cranny so we don't need to worry too much. I say that as I nervously laugh. I don't think we need the steps. No, I don't think we do. I then have picked up... Oh gosh, here comes Tad. Why'd the villagers do this? I mean, he's adorable. Look, he's got a little brown bag. Oh, I bet you he's got sandwiches in there, like fly sandwiches or something. Anyway, I've got a piece of fencing. Push it all the way up. Like I said, I want a little bit of town element going on. So, fencing goes in. I'm going to stick some hedges down here because I don't want it to look... Yeah, <laughs> I don't want it to look... Yeah, if that makes sense, which it doesn't. I picked up some other bits too. So, we do have a patchwork sofa chair. I thought maybe we could stick those in here. Do like a little a little seating area. Cute. I may need to make this bigger. It's not a problem. I got a patchwork chair as well because I thought instead of it just being two, two of these, but then I kind of want to have just two. Let's see, vintage low table in here. I wanted to basically make a cute area to sit in case you, you couldn't guess. Because I want to make it really, really cozy. That's why we've gone with the sofa because normally we'd go with a bench. Let's add some grass code there. 
Right, I need to quickly go grab some stuff from my storage. Okay, we might have a little bit of an issue. I might need to move that tree. I may need to move it because I need to put some fencing in, but then at the same time, do I want to move the tree? That didn't go where I wanted it. That went completely the wrong place. Let's try again. Safety railing. Push it all the way up. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to add another layer. All right, in goes the safety railing. I need hedges. Oh, are they all chasing that dragonfly? Tad and Tutu. <laughs> oh my gosh, at least they're doing something together, I guess. Let's add our hedges all the way behind, like so. I may need to push the fencing up towards it a little bit closer because I think it's going to look a bit weird. To be honest, I might even flip them round. Oh yeah, it looks better flipped round. Let's put the other one the other way as well. I can put our table back in and then I also picked up oh I've got a hay bed for some reason I don't know why does that look weird I don't like that hay bed why did I even pick the hay bed up this isn't a farm I really want to use the patchwork chair I mean maybe spinning it like that is okay I'm trying I'm trying to make this look cute I don't want it to be the same as what I always build I always put a truck outside of nook's cranny or you know I always I always put something a truck boxes all right, we've got a boxy stool. Does that count as a box? A little yellow stool. Okay, we, we can finish off that bit in a second. We've got to go behind here. So to give us more of a town feel, I decided to take a leap and I'm going to use some medieval walls. Now, I know a lot of you don't like yellow, but I love yellow. So let's do our best. I'm so unsure right now. Am I going to like this? I hope so. It feels very much like a city now. Yes, I feel like I need more flowers. So I don't want this to look like a city. So we're going to add flowers. I love flowers anyway, so it's a good thing. I think if we go for yellow, green, yellow, green, we can't go wrong. Stick them down the side like that. Oh, I'm kind of feeling it. I kind of am. I'm going to need to put more walls along here. And then we're going to stick Nook's Cranny in. And then add a lot of stuff to this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm trying to do here. I only have two more medieval walls, so I'm probably going to have to go get some more. I just want to make sure we get sort of the general layout of what we're trying to do. Just trust the process. Trust the process because someone's got to... <laughs> Someone's going to trust the process. I'm not going to bring this all the way across because I feel like it's just pointless. But this one I will. So we'll bring this all the way across and we'll also have... Oh gosh, Hazel, please. Hazel's cute. I kind of want to do a squirrel island. I would love to do an island for each animal species. What can I do though? What can I do for each animal species? If you have any idea, let me know down below. Because I just... I like the idea of having all the same animals. I mean, I know I'm going to have one odd one out on this island. But that's fine because it's all going to make sense. And you'll see why. I think I have a better idea. I have a better idea than this. Well, I was going to say it's going to be similar, but not really. I'm going to put some stools in and we're going to make a cute little coffee shop. Because how perfect would that be? We're going to have the little gap in the middle. Or do I want... No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. No. I was like, maybe we'll keep the gap in the middle. And then there's me just picking everything up. Right, put the stool in. And then we can put our little chairs back in. So I'm still going to have the patchwork chairs because I really like these. Oh, not, not the chairs, the sofa. The sofa chair. There we go. I feel like you can't get more cozier than these. I would like these in real life, actually. It's going to be really nice to sit on. Right, instead of putting the table in, I want to decorate these stools first. Annoyingly, my pockets are full, so I have to just run back and forward. I have to go on the end here. I'm thinking a bonsai tree apparently not where I want it to go so I'm gonna have to do this bit first this bit is going to be infused water dispenser in case you don't want a, a hot drink and then maybe we'll be able to put the bonsai tree back in <laughs> there it goes so because I can't put anything else there because my storage was full we're gonna put our table back in right, there's our table and then I just want to decorate around this so I did pick up a recycled paper bundle because I thought you know when you're going to the the calf or the cafe, although I don't want it there. You you kind of read a newspaper. Well, I see some people read newspapers. Maybe this planter. Oh, so cute. It's not even that bad that it's on the pathway. I kind of like it. I need it to look as spring as possible. I also have some Casablanca lilies, but I feel like they might overdo it there. I might not keep them there. We'll see. To go on here, I did pick up a cup, I think. No, I did not. <laughs> okay, let me go pick it up. Right, I have the cup now. <laughs> I have it. A uh, coffee cup. There it goes. And then I also have a mum's tea cozy. Stick that there and then push it right up. And then on here, I picked up a kettle. Oh, I don't want it that way around though. Can I not have it the other way? Let's see what happens when I do it from here. That's kind of better. I wanted it the other way just because I'm awkward, but that's 
That's fine. Also, I picked up a snack. Although I don't like it there. Actually, do you know what? I don't even like this anymore. Let's put the snacks here instead. See how they look there. No, I don't really like it. Do you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm sticking a Karopi snack there. I know these are snacks, but they're like little tiny froggies. Look at them. This space is big enough for Nook's Cranny, but I don't know if it's too big. Maybe we could try it. Let's see what happens when we put it down, because I forgot I'm still carrying it. Let me imagine it. Oh gosh, Tutu, you're going to get crushed. Tutu got crushed. She did. Oh, see, that's cute. I like it. Yeah, this is a good spot. It's literally right on the road. There's nothing wrong with that. It's fine. I'm going to shove in a bush here because you're not going to be able to get behind there anyway. See? Perfect. Out of sight, out of mind. But this means I probably can extend this. Yeah, I think we will. I think we're going to extend this by one across over towards Nook's Cranny. Okay, that's cute. Also, I'm having another brainwave. I don't know why I'm picking all this up, but I did. I don't know if I'm going to like this, which is what I say every single time I try something new. This could be over the top. Is that too much? <laughs> Is that too much? No? Thing is, it's not in line. Okay, that's bothersome. It's going. It was annoying. If it was in line, it would be better, but otherwise I gotta pull this forward and then you have that weird awkward line behind. And I don't really, I don't really want that. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. It would have been cute though. I can do it with somewhere else. I can put this quilt on top of this code somewhere else. Now over here, I think I'm going to stick in our patchwork chair like so. And then I think I'm gonna stick a stool in here with it. I got the boxy stool. It's a little footstool, but it just makes it feel a little bit cozier. Also I have a garden wagon, which I'm might stick here but push it over a little bit so it it kind of i don't know it creates something it does something and i don't know what i want to stick something down here but i don't know if i've got anything to stick there oh we've got a planter we've got a planter oh that works that works nicely is tutu already checking out the area yes <laughs> She already wants to order stuff. Now, I'm going to quickly time travel to get Nook's Cranny moved in. And then we can finish decorating around Nook's Cranny. And then, do you know what I'm actually going to do down here? We might as well. There's Nook's Cranny. Oh, it looks so cute. Oh, it goes really well with the walls behind it. Okay, it looks so much better with Nook's Cranny here. I need to get two more of the walls or maybe even three. Actually, I think I only need two. That's not a problem, though. We can sort that out later. I don't like that you can see this. I think to avoid catastrophe and me going completely crazy because i can see it i'm gonna put down this <laughs> actually i still don't like it okay change of plan to avoid catastrophe flowers flowers will always work i'm gonna put flowers all the way along the back i need to grab them all but for now i think this looks cute i need something else although i'm trying this minimalistic look and it was really cute down here but i need to continue it here ignore it for now let's go over to this side i'm thinking because i really wanted a house here but i'm thinking i might put that house on the beach i really want a beach house not for me but for a villager i think that'd be a cute idea let's get our helmet back on will tad ever stop being cute look at him he's got a lollipop oh i love him so much look at his little face please just chomp it chomp the lollipop and i'll be so happy we're gonna miss it <laughs> I want to miss him doing it we are gonna miss it though right bye tad i hope you enjoy your lollipop what flavor do we reckon it is i reckon it's strawberry it's a strawberry flavored lollipop he's lucky that looks really strange i don't like how that that's came out it looks cute by resident services but for some reason i don't like it here so change of plan we're just gonna join it on the end <gasps> wait does hazel want to leave that's actually a good thing i like hazel but her wanting to leave means i can go and get a new frog villager oh let's see yeah she wants to leave okay good 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 go spread those wings right perfect that means we can get a new villager in also i've just realized i've not actually used the crossing yet i've got this crossing code and i've not used it maybe we could use it here maybe you could cross over to nook's cranny safely We'll put it in the wrong spot. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's really cute. I really like that. Now, I said I didn't want a sidewalk. And I'm not going to have a sidewalk. But I am going to use this plank code here. Just so it looks decent. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. But hopefully you understand. It's so it looks a little better than it just being straight onto the grass. 
or straight onto another dirt code like that i think that looks okay and then i was thinking of getting i've got this oh actually i don't want to do that i think wait change your plan change your plan i think i want to make a natural walking path to the beach and then we're going to stick a house here not this house because this house is henry's house i don't want henry there annoyingly i want a different frog goodbye rock they always spawn here <laughs> they always spawn in the way so we're not going to do the villager house today but i do want to do the little path today i feel like you using the app in case anyone was wondering i feel like using the app today instead of using the put down code i have days sometimes i want to use the the actual tool and sometimes i want to use the app today it's the app yeah that looks kind of cute <laughs> it looks like a little wiggly worm i want to use the hedging again because i really like the hedging although i kind of love the simple fence too oh <gasps> He's fell asleep. I feel like we should whisper, but still, he won't hear me. He's so cute. I can't get over how cute Tad is. I can't get over it. It's just... He's too stinking cute. He's becoming my favorite frog. I don't know if I said that in the previous videos, but he is. He's becoming my favorite frog. I adore him. I adore Tad. And then the house could be here. Oh, it's gonna look cute. I hope it does. I hope we can make this work. I'm gonna grab some more. Actually, no, before we grab some more stuff, I wanna pop some trees in. We need a tree by Nook's Cranny, but it's not going to happen. See, there's just not there's no space we can't put it here and we can't put it here so that's annoying but it's fine it's fine we just smile and wave it off because we can stick one here instead Ta-da! and then i can stick one here and it kind of helps fills that void see i'm not going to worry too much about the trees this side yet because i don't want to block this view so i don't want to put them here in the first few layers i do however want to actually no let me get my simple fence first i have grabbed too many fences because my indecisive brain doesn't like to decide we're going to use the simple fence first the simple wooden fence i'm going to stick along like so so it won't... oh gosh apparently i can't do it today apparently me and the fencing are not gonna do it by the way i love mixing the fencing colors up i just i don't know what it is <laughs> I just love doing it. I'm going to shove a bush in here. And I think that looks okay for now. So I want to make a little park. And now I was going to do a little park with benches. But I'm feeling maybe a little play park would be really cute. Like I said, this isn't kid core. But I feel like you don't have to be doing kid core to make a park, right? Okay, I don't know what color this one is. I think it's green. It is green. I'm going to stick a tree here. In there it goes. And then I'm going to use this fence and bring it all the way down. But I want to stick a bush here because the joins are always really strange. And so because of that, bushes really help. I need the green one. I need that again because I need to put one here. Or I could put a bush. A bush works. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm terrible. I love using the bushes. I'm going to stick a little patch of grass down here. I always call it grass. It's not even grass. It's um flowers. <laughs> It's flowers. I still always call it grass though. I want to stick, yeah, I want to stick these little bits here. And then, oh, do you know what would be really cute? If we are able to stick some of the flowers to the... Oh, it does, it does, it works, see? It looks like it's joined. Oh, stop, that's cute. Okay, any flowers? Oh, Tad, please, I love Tad. So I have a bunch of flowers and I think these would just look really nice down the side here. Like this. It saves me just putting a bunch of bushes. I think it looks quite cute. I'm going to use the rest of the flowers that we have to to decorate this area all right so we want to put that there what is happening here nothing maybe a bush maybe a bush needs to happen we'll continue with that bit in a second actually i want to decorate the park okay i went overboard i grabbed too much stuff i even grabbed stuff for nook's cranny and i don't even know what i'm doing i've got a good idea for this side though a good one I'm going to put down some of that code again, the plank code that we have. This green one, I'm going to fill a square of it. Oh dear, I didn't mean to stick it there. That's going to be a bush. I don't think I have a bush. No, I don't. <laughs> I've got that like that. And I'm thinking we could add the shopping carts there. I've got one in green. Right, spin it round. And I also have one in yellow. Oh, I've just had another brain idea. Quick, quick, quick. Go get it before you forget. Right, I need to pick you up because I picked up a safety railing. Oh, it's not meant to go that way. It's meant to go flat. <laughs> it's meant to go flat. Here we go. Right, give that push all the way up. And then when we put the shopping carts in, it's going to hopefully look like where you put your shopping carts when you're done with them. I might even grab another shopping cart. I might have to grab one from a treasure island or something because this looks really cute. I'll put maybe one more at least. One more other one here. Also, I might... Oh, I don't think it's going to work though. I was thinking I could put lights behind here. You know the lights? 
The ones I mean, the fairy light archways, that's it. I'm gonna try it. If I don't like it, I can just put these railings back. Right, I have two on me and I just wanna see how they look because I might not like the spacing, but we're gonna see. Oh gosh, you know exactly what I'm about to do. Oh no. Okay, we need to pick all these up. I think I want to swap the hedging with the lights. So instead I want the hedging to go right directly behind the stalls and behind Nook's Cranny. I'm hoping this will look better. Maybe that means we can get rid of that piece then. Maybe it would look nicer because we might be able to get it in line. How far up can we push you? Oh, we can push you to there. I don't think it's going to let me put a tree there. So we just, we're just going to have to deal with that one. I need to actually make sure I like it with the walls. I haven't actually seen it with the walls yet. So we've got to make sure. I feel like we have to put a couple in to make sure. I think three should be enough. I mean, I don't like it from this angle. Oh gosh, who's calling me? Who's shouting at me? Hello? Oh, it's Lily. Hello. Do you know about Glee? She's teaching me how to react. Thank you. Isn't she cute? Also, do I like those lights? I do. I'm just thinking, do I want them in a lighter word? I don't know if I want them in a lighter word or that word. I think we'll leave it for now. And then if I decide that I like lighter wood, actually, let me know. Let me know down below. Lighter wood or that word. I will be keeping these yellow walls. The darker wood obviously matches the bottom of the medieval walls. And it also matches the windows. So let me know what you think. Do you prefer the darker wood ones or the lighter wood? I think I might prefer this, but I will decide later. <laughs> oh no, we can only go to there. You know, you can't have it always you just can't how frustrating it's just by one square we can't even gain a square because otherwise we'd lose that bush and i'm not willing to do that i think i could stick a tree in though i think a tree might help us especially if we use a cedar and then we chuck a bush in there you go that doesn't look so bad although you can't really see these lights <laughs> You can't see this one, so it probably wouldn't have mattered too much. I need to grab some more medieval walls, but we've already talked about that. I do need to grab some more medieval walls, but we've already spoken about that, so that's okay. I think I want to stick some baskets, although they shouldn't really be on the crosswalk, right? Maybe the baskets should go here. Stack shopping baskets in front of the shopping cart, although that means we might not need another shopping cart because we could probably stick the baskets there. And then the other shopping cart that we had, we can just stick here behind this one. Oh gosh, yes, I love this. I absolutely love that. It's so cute. Here, we're gonna just go for the unrealistic. I don't I don't want to do realistic islands anymore. They're not my thing. I've I've done it. Been there, done that. I like the unrealistic. I want to go back into our park because I did pick up some stuff for our park. There is a playground ship. There's so many motorbikes going past my window today. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't really like how this looks against this. So I just want to stick in some hedging. Oh, you can still see the cute fence over the top. That's good. And then maybe if I stick in the playground gym now. Now, I might like it a lot more. Yes. Oh gosh, don't sit on it. <laughs> Although I can't wait to see the little frog sit on it. That'd be so cute. I like it that way. Yeah, I like it that way. Over here, I want to add some more of that lovely flower card. And I call it flowers instead of grass. Now, go me. And then on top of that, I've got some springy ride-ons. Stick one there. And I want to stick one here too. I thought I picked up two. I obviously didn't. Let me go see if it's still in my storage. Yep, it was still in my storage. <laughs> you know what I'm doing now? I'm thinking I don't want to stick a house on the beach over here. Hear me out. I think it might be nicer if we carry on the little park idea. So I might put some soccer goals or football goals as we call them. And I might stick those on the beach and make just like a little fun beach instead of putting a house here. Because it is quite a small beach. Maybe it would be better off to have the house on a different beach. So I think I'm going to do that. I want a little entryway into the park. And it also means that I can change this. We can stick a middle piece and then one of these. Oh yes, this is so cute so far. I'm really happy with it. What do I want? I kind of want a lily pad. I could stick a tree in here, but I'm going to try not to. Maybe we could put a couple more lily pads. I've got little single ones. Where are they? Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Now, I don't know what else I'm going to stick in the park just yet. So I'm just going to go over to this side because I do have an outdoor bath. Doesn't fit. Of course it doesn't fit. Let's try again. Outdoor bath. I like this. I hardly ever use it, but it's got a little frog on it. Look at the little frog. Oh, it's so adorable. So there's our outdoor bath, but I kind of want to make you walk around on the path. So I've got some log stakes. Now this kind of makes me want to keep the lights that we have. So you have to walk around here. I want to give this one a wiggle. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm going to use these stairs. It works. 
It kind of works. I'm going to put the outdoor bath back on top. It just makes it look a little bit more fancy. See, it's just a little bit more fancier. I really like it, so it's going to stay. <laughs> it's different to what I'm used to doing. Everything is, to be honest, on this island. I need a few more things to go here. I'm thinking flowers and just decorative items in general. I picked up a scooter. A nice yellow one. I'm glad it's yellow. I was hoping it was yellow. But look, that looks so cute. I also have an ABD machine that I really, really want to place. Maybe it will look nice here. You know, it's outside Nook's Cranny still. Oh, I have some more stuff for the park. I forgot I had these. So I've got some tire toys. I've got them in yellow. So maybe if we just put one here and one here. Maybe even push up. That mole cricket is driving me crazy. Honestly. The mole cricket's gotta go. I hope someone kicks it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish I wish the violence upon the mole cricket. I want to get rid of this. I have a cruiser bike. I feel like I've said that so many times before. I have a cruiser bike. This could look nice. And then maybe if we stuck a flower behind it. And then in these gaps, we could just fill these with custom codes. Uh, I have the frog one. And I have a cute little puddle one that I love. Yeah, I just want to put something else on here. Let me see if I've got anything. Of course, when I went into my storage, I got obsessed with more items. So to go here, I'm hoping this will fit. I got a phone box for no reason whatsoever, but I really like it. It just makes everything feel a bit more town-like. And I've said that before, I know, but it does. Over here, I did have a rummage. I'm thinking mum cushion or plant. I like the mum cushion. I think that's what I prefer. Mum cushion. There it is. Of course, I found more for this area too. I found the snacks that I was trying to use. Oh no, they, they're not meant to be on the lily pad. I've got the snacks. I also picked up a bottled beverage, but I'm thinking now I might leave that for where we do the little soccer, the little soccer things on the beach. I'm going to quickly make an invisible code. Okay, so it's invisible, but it also has a little orange dot on it to remind me that I've already put a code down. It's just I don't want weeds to spread and flowers to spread here. So to keep it as it is, I'm going to put down the invisible code. Although I love the sound of the grass. Okay, no, no one cares. <laughs> No one cares. I like the sound of the grass. That's the only problem when you put these invisible codes down. You don't get the sound of the grass. So if you like the sound of the grass, don't do it. Do you know what would look good here though? A green leaf part. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful there. For some reason, I did pick up a barrel. I feel like I was feeling a little bit optimistic of where I could place this. I don't know where I'm going to place this. I obviously had some sort of idea and have lost the idea in my head. So no barrel. I really want to put the destination signpost somewhere, but I feel like I'm going to be overdoing it if I do. If I stick it here, it's not going to look right. No, see, it doesn't fit. I'm going to quickly get the medieval walls. So I only need three. I'll get four. I'll get more than I need. I'm going to quickly go get the medieval walls. And then we're going to have a little look around at what we've built today. So here it is. Today we did the area outside of Nook's Cranny. We got a little coffee. Well... I wouldn't say coffee. It's more of a tea and infused water spot for you to enjoy outside of Nook's Cranny. I feel like I need something else here. I might go and grab a little bag and stick one of those there. I just feel like it needs it. It needs something. You know when it just is a little bit too empty for me. But anyway, I did finish all the medieval walls behind. And you know what? I actually like the darker wood. It kind of breaks everything up a little bit. Makes it look a bit natural too, which is what spring core is. I know a lot of people go for really bright colors for spring core, but we got a lot of yellow and a lot of green so i feel like we're okay on to the right we have actual nook's cranny itself as you can see i finished the walls i think behind there i'm just going to put some trees i don't know i don't know what we're doing behind yet i don't know if we're terraforming up or if we're leaving it like that and putting trees i don't know yet but we've got a little shopping car and shopping basket area here to the right side i think this came out so cute and i love the little tulips I me mean, i wish they were yellow in front of the little drink spot we have a little park i'm gonna continue the park onto the beach but i'm gonna do maybe a little soccer area or basketball area just something fun it's very minimalistic but you can tell it's like frog related i might actually come back in here as well and add some more karopi snacks just for the funs of it i think that'd be a cute idea especially maybe one here in the corner i don't know we'll see we'll see i might add more and more as i go along over on the right side though we have a little walking moment where you'll be able to get to the beach i was originally 
going to put a house here, but I've decided not to. Like I said, I'm going to have a little fun beach instead. And you know, I'm really happy with how this area came out today. It's very minimalistic for me and I'm enjoying it, but it's also really fun and chaotic at the same time. It's, it's the best of both worlds, I think. I need some more leaf pals, that's for sure, across this road. For now, I'm happy with this area. So there we have it. We finished today's build. It was nice to do something a little bit different today. I had a lot of fun and I feel like it came out quite adorable. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Come join the Jellybean family. Have the loveliest of days and I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.